This is the Novaflex 5.6 400mm lens. This is a beast. So the focusing is through the handle here and you push or pull to adjust your focus as you go. This is intense. Well, needless to say, I won't be taking this on any rooftops or downtown areas anytime soon. So, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and put that down for now. So we're not talking about that lens today, but we will later on in the future. Today, we are talking about focusing systems with old 35 millimeter cameras. Now there's a few different systems you're gonna see throughout most of the major brands, um, and it translates depending on the make, the model, the year they were made, but these are basically the four main systems you're gonna see throughout most of these old 35 millimeter cameras. So if you're familiar with how most of these work, this might not be an episode for you, but if you're new to 35 millimeter film, this could be pretty beneficial for you. And either way, it's gonna be kind of interesting the way we do it. So the major focusing systems are split image focusing, which is primarily in rangefinder cameras. Then of course we have split image focusing, micro prism focusing, and then lastly is a combination of those last two. So let's just clarify a few things real quick. First of all, somehow I managed to record this in 720 instead of 1080. So sorry for that. Second of all, I also managed to record in 30 frames per second instead of 24, uh, which is really bothering me right now, but I'm already done with the edit and it's taken me quite some time and I need to move on to other projects. So I'm just gonna have to deal with it this time. And then lastly, from here on out, whenever I say split image, what I am supposed to be saying is split prism. So just Keep that in mind uh, as, as, as we continue here. So let's pull up our display and we'll get right into this. So we have our cameras there, let's pull up our focus. All right, so of course we have rangefinder, split prism, micro prism, and then lastly, we're gonna do the combo. So first let's do rangefinder. Good, we got that there. Let's bring that over here so it's not right in my face. Now our focus knob here. So with range finders, you're primarily gonna see split image focusing. It's fairly easy to get your focusing right, but basically what you have is you have your primary image here, and then of course off center you have a separate kind of yellowish green image depending on the camera you're using. And what you wanna do is you wanna line those images up. So if you adjust your focus, you're gonna see that those images start to line up as you turn it. And once they're completely straight, that's when your focus is accurate. Now this is great because if you're doing street photography, you can kind of set your focus to how far you want it away. And then of course you can track that image until it lines up properly and take your shot. It's fairly easy, it's extremely accurate. And for me, it's my favorite kind of focusing system in these old cameras. Okay, so let's get rid of that. Next up we have split image focusing. Again, let's move that off my face here. Now with split image focusing, you have a center circle and your image is split in half, either down the center or like a 45 degree angle. And what you want to do again is you have to line up those two images. Now this can be difficult if you're shooting something with not a lot of contrast or you have a hard time finding a line to pick out. So if you're doing things like portraits and you're shooting really up close, there's not much in your cheekbone or up on your forehead you can pick out to kind of line up. So you would either want to focus more on the eye or the nose perhaps if you have a prominent line there or even the side of the face where you can kind of line up the ear or the side of the head so that you can make sure your focus is on point. But if you're out shooting in the woods or something like that, you have a lot of trees, you have a lot of leaves, it's just a very chaotic background and it can be hard to line up your focus with this system. So you're gonna have to kind of go back and forth between the measurements on your lens and what you think if you can't quite pick it out. All right, so let's get rid of that again. Next up, perfect, bring that back over here, micro prism focusing. So this is micro prism focusing. Now with micro prism focusing, it's the same concept as split image focusing, only it's on a much smaller scale. So you'll have your center ring, so that image is still split in two, but instead of having just one reference point, you have 50, 60, however many reference points to kind of line that image up. <sighs> so it does kind of give you a 3D effect, uh, which is nice because it allows you, once you flatten out that 3D effect, you know that you're in focus. But again, if you're shooting a background with a lot of different colors, or if you're shooting outdoors and like in the woods or something like that, it can be hard to figure out that focus point. So you might wanna change your focus area to kind of figure out where you're at as far as your depth of field, adjust accordingly, and then put your composition together. All right, so get rid of that. Next up. Now this is the last one. This is a combination of micro prism as well as split prism focusing. 
So now with this, what you have is an outer circle with your micro prism focusing, and then the center is gonna be a split image focus. Now this is really nice to have the combination of the two because there are certain situations like we talked about where one focusing isn't gonna work or it's just not quite ideal. So with this one, you have two different options. So if one isn't quite working out for you, you have the other one to fall back on just in case. So it's great, speeds up the process, gives you a little more options, lets you get your focus quicker so you don't miss as many shots. So as we adjust here, you can see the outer 3D effect kind of goes away as you're getting further into focus. And then of course in the center you have your split image focusing which adjusts as well to make sure your focus is accurate. Perfect. All right, so let's get rid of that. Push that off to the side. Don't want that there anymore. Awesome. So remember, these are all center focusing systems. So if you don't want your focus on the center of the image, adjust get your focus and then rearrange your composition to how you want it so i've used all these different systems i have a yushika 135 that has the split image focusing i have my nikon f which is the split prism focusing my k1000 is micro prism focusing and then of course the ae1 and a1 program are a combination of the two with a split prism in the center and then micro prism in the exterior circle of that so i hope that was beneficial for you i hope it made it a little easier to understand the different ways there are to focus with 35 millimeter cameras. Uh, if so, please leave a like, comment. If you wanted to see something different, leave that down below. And I may or may not read it. Who am I, who am I kidding? I'm gonna read it, I'm gonna see it. So again, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and be sure to keep checking in because we get a lot more coming your way.